Pete Faneuil was an orphan. He was raised by his uncle Andrew, wealthy merchant in the town of Boston. When Uncle Andrew died, he left his entire estate to his nephew Peter on a condition. The condition was that Peter must never marry. Peter agreed to the condition, and he became known in Boston as the Jolly Bachelor. Boston needed a new marketplace. Peter Faneuil built this building and presented it to the people of the town. In gratitude for his generosity, they named it after him, Faneuil Hall. This became the central market for Boston. It was also the place where the town meeting met. It was here in this great hall that Samuel Adams spoke in favor of revolution. It was here that John Hancock presided, that Joseph Warren, James Otis, and dozens of other patriots, high sons of liberty, spoke in the cause of the American Revolution. After the revolution, the people of Boston needed a larger hall, and so they turned to their architect, Charles Bullfinch, and in 1805, this hall was enlarged. Later in the 19th century, this place, known affectionately as the Cradle of Liberty, became the scene for abolitionist speeches. Here in this chamber, the great heroic abolitionist spoke in defiance of the laws to denounce the evil of slavery. It was here that William Lloyd Garrison spoke, Charles Sumner, and Frederick Douglass. This hall remains today a site for meetings for free speech. It remains today an important part of Boston's historic fabric. From the grasshopper weather vane on the cupola above to this great hall, this is one of our town's great icons. This hall is still owned by the city of Boston. It is free and open to the public every day and tours are available from ranges of the National Park Service.